Oh, hello everybody. Welcome to the next episode, episode 70 of Let's Play Europe Universalist 3 Divine Wind with your host, Shanrear. We are playing Bromania. Bromanistan. Whatever you'd like to call us. And we finally write peace. In the last episode, we watched Austria get bigger. But at the same time as they got bigger, they also became orthodox. So high five Austria and Prussia, you are my orthodox buddies. Well, not buddies, but fuck it, you're orthodox. Anyway, this episode, I would like to go ahead and finish up what we started with the Mamluks, if we can. And that may mean going to war with the Chobanids at the same time, but I'd rather just do one or the other. Like, I, we could just do the Chobanids. I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, let's get back in. We also have some colonizing to do. Yeah, Bohemia is still fucking up Austria's shit. I don't even see any Austrian armies on the map. So I'm pretty sure they're toast. Let's see. England has... That island, the Azores. England also has most of North America, which we still cannot reach. That's correct. Did we get rid of that stupid advisor? No, we still have our one-star colonial range dork. <laughs> what a useless son of a bitch. Where is he? Here. He requires naval tradition, which we don't have. Yeah, that's a problem. Oh, we can introduce our heir. His claim is strong, so we don't need to. You only need to introduce your error if his claim is weak or medium. That'll help drastically. Anyway, yeah, so our king's been in power for 12 years. He has good administrative skill, and we're just waiting on da, 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 uh, stability of three and a slider change. We already got rid of resisting Western influences, so we need a slider change which will be 50, 50, 50, 5 years. Okay, so I just kind of want to fast forward to 5 years, keep our stability up, focus on modernizing our military, because that'll be a huge bonus to us. Do I need to worry about our stability? Now nah, we're fine. Alright, let's put speed back up. Oh, fucking hell. What happened? Oh, they're calling us to war against Morocco. God damn it. <laughs> Allied with the Golden Horde, Zapper, Rosie, and Fez. Well, the Golden Horde is getting their ass kicked in by Prussia. So, let's see. What would a separate war entail? Holy War. Golden Horde, Zapper, Rosie, and Fez. Everyone would join, so... Yeah, I say everyone. Like, there's anybody besides Bohemia that would really matter. <laughs> uh, well, I guess we could do something about Zapper, Rosie. What about a separate war against Zapper, Rosie? It looks like there's no more Defender of the Faith. See, there's no message here for Defender of the Faith. That's interesting. Oh, now it says, oh, Morocco's the Defender of the Faith. Gotcha. So it wouldn't matter. So the Chobanids are no longer the Defender of the Faith. But as soon as Morocco loses this war against England, which they probably will, then they will lose Defender of the Faith. So what we're going to do is try to be a little bit sneaky. We're going to join the war. But I'm hoping, I'm really hoping that Morocco will take these things back from England, and then we can take them from Morocco. See what I'm saying? We can be sneaky like that. We got a high, and we need a high-speed commander down here. High speed, pretty please. And England's blockading them, of course. Uh, maneuver one, maneuver two, maneuver four. You have no leader. Maneuver 5, that's pretty good. No leader. Maneuver 1. Okay, maneuver 5 it is. So you're going to be our province stealer. Because these are still under 1,000 population, so they're technically colonies. Very good. Okay, let's fund our military again. And we're going to have to, I guess, do this. Because Morocco should join that war. And if they don't, then we can do a separate war on Morocco. It should be fine. 
Or we could just do war in Morocco and see what happens. Golden Horn, Zaporozzi, and Fez. I mean, I kind of want to do Zaporozzi because we want this land. It's only three little territories. We want the land around the Black Sea. And that's one way to get it, is just going to war. Okay, we'll do it, we'll do it. Okay, call allies. Everyone's going to join. England says impossible. Okay, well then we won't do that. They probably pieced him out recently. We'll just do this. England impossible. Oh, God fucking damn it, England. Fine. We won't even bring our... That's what we'll do. We'll do this, but we won't bring our allies into it. That's what we'll do. Perfect. Okay. And then we'll do this down here as well. Yeah, okay. And then we'll see the Golden Horde will probably join against us as well, but we don't care. You need a leader, so I'll give you this derp. You need to heal up as well. Go to Cherson. Golden Horde join. Da, 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 da. Okay, so people are joining. Let's get Bohemia in this shit. Very likely. Very good. England cannot, so no big deal. Let's get our vassals in. If I can find Byzantium, because they are so tiny. I love you, Byzantium. No, no, not annexation. Call to arms. God damn it. Oh. Oh, we spoke with them recently. Damn it. We have to wait till July. Okay, okay. I think those are our only allies. That's so sad. Oh, we're going to get there first. Excellent. And you should come help. And you should also come help. We shouldn't need more than three armies up there. Just a bunch of level two forts. It's fine. Oh, yeah, we can call Georgia to help. No, we cannot. Why not? Oh, we never allied with them. Lol. Why did I never ally with Georgia? How did I never notice? <laughs> Yes. We'll join your war, England, even though we don't need to now. Anyway. Oh, there we go. So, all they made the Austria do is release Württemberg. Wow, Württemberg has a lot of land. Holy shit. Württemberg has cores on all this? Wow. That's amazing. Usually they only have two territories, Wurzenberg and Konstanz. I don't know how, but they've got cores on Frisco, Baden, and Schwaben, but whatever. Okay, cool. Good job, Bohemia. High five. And you guys are moving over. Very good. See, Morocco's already freed one. As soon as they get to Waida, we can take Waida back. And then they can get Avami. Yeah, they're going to Avami, too. Very cool. Where's our navy? Navy, navy, navy. Okay, let's get you guys down to here. Pick up this army. Okay, they're attacking us. We should be fine. Yeah, we're slaughtering them. No, no, no. Get off hunting rebels. Stay there. Okay, we're going to go to Abomi like this. Oh, we just killed their navy. I didn't even notice we engaged it. Ah, cool. And we have a colonist. Very good. One in Cherson, they're running to Zaporozia. We'll follow. We get there first? Yes, we do. Good, good. Should be fine. I hope. <laughs> so down here, we're going to let them... Yeah, they're going to invade our lands, but that's fine, because these all have forts, don't they? Yes, they do. So we'll let them invade, and at the same time, we'll take over these colonies they have. Isn't that so sneaky? I love it. And let's go colonize. Oh, it's out of range. God damn it. 
fine. Go here, I guess. Try to speed it up a bit. That general died. Oh well. Not my problem. No, here we go. Resist westernization again. But that's not a problem. We'll ignore their demands. Yeah, because I don't need more years of resisting westernization. We'll just ignore them. go. So the reason I got another army on a boat is we need to be able to defend these three things since they're just provinces. We don't have to defend them forever, just until the end of the war. So, come on down here. Advisors resist westernization. God damn it. Our statesman and artist are both going to die. Oh well. Who needs advisors? We killed that army. Very good. <laughs> we can always get more advisors later. In fact, we should probably start commissioning paintings so that we can get some advisors. <laughs> we'll need them. People resist westernization. Lose legitimacy. Whatever. Provinces resist westernization. Okay, here's a problem. If we do this, then we lose a slider change. So now we're boned. Now we have to do this. Oh, fucking hell. That sucks. So all that work to stop resisting westernization, and we have no choice but to just accept resisting Western westernization. Otherwise, we would lose a slider change. Oh, well. Now we have to wait another five years. Okay, seize colony. And uh, let's see, we're going to split you in half. You come down here, because we have to defend that colony. Oh, fucking England's coming over here. Shit. Um, fine, we'll go sit in Oyo. Or we'll go... No... Not sure. I don't want England to get these two, that's for sure. God damn it. When do you arrive, England? 6th of September? Oh, we got there first. Good, good. Okay, so we get there first. August, September. Yeah, so we'll get wider. But England's going to get Gold Coast. Damn it. Maybe Morocco will bring more armies down. I don't know. We'll see. In the meantime, we killed some rebels. We have a Diplo. Still unlikely. We have our royal ties with Prussia, that's very nice. Maybe we can peace out Golden Horde since they're, you know, currently getting overrun by Prussia. Mali, Zaporozhi, and Kiva. Mali. Who's the leader? Mali, I guess? Yeah, Kiva. Kiva. You're a little far away to care about, but whatever. Fez. Uh, whatever. Fez doesn't really count for anything. Alright. Should be able to kill this army. Yep. There we go. And now they're running towards our other lands, which is fine. Let's see, are any of these colonies? No. Damn. Well, that blows. 
Well, we'll see. If Morocco comes to take Gold Coast away once England's army passes by, then we'll take Gold Coast, Gold Coast back. There we go. out of there. I'm sorry. No end of the war for you, Zaporozzi. So we'll let... Do we still have access here? We do. Okay, we'll get our dudes off the boat. Actually, it's probably fast. Just dock out. Now we can just walk over there. No, they haven't come down yet, but they will, I think. No, England's coming back. Damn it. Kumasi is gold. Well, that'd be nice, but uh, we'll see. I guess what we could do is get back on the boat and go uh, retake Benin for now. Let's go to Cameroon. It's our colony. Actually, let's go to Calabar. Move on over. Yeah, some people were suggesting to convert people, which is, I, I truly do enjoy converting people, like Austria and Prussia have been converted. But uh, it doesn't work against Muslims. You can, only, you can only forcefully convert people who are in the same religious group as you. Like our religious group is uh, Catholics, Protestants, Reformed, and Orthodox. That's our religious group. And then like... Uh, so we can so if we go to war with any of them, we can forcefully convert them. But we can't we can't forcefully convert like the Mamluks or Morocco or the Chobanids or the Golden Horde. You just can't do it. Anyway, we are out of time. So I hope you enjoyed our time together today. In the next part, we will finish up our little war with Zaporozhi by taking Cherkask, and we will see what's going to happen down here. I'm hoping Morocco will come back to Gold Coast, and then we can take Gold Coast. That'd be nice. That'd be very nice. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed our time together today. Uh, comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.